So we've got two bees. Um, one flies at three and one's at three meters a second. The other flies at five. This is 150 meters apart. So here's the three meter B. So initially they're gonna meet somewhere like here. And then they wanna know when they'll meet again. So it's probably gonna be something like this. And they'll meet here. So the first one's gonna be 150, 150 meters minus three X, then plus, or oops, not plus, is equal to five X. The reason why is because this is starting at like a base of zero. You can just pick either one. You could do 150 minus 5x is equal to 3x, but we'll just do this. All right, so add 3x, add 3x, we get 8x is equal to 150. And x is equal to 18.75 seconds. Um, So times three so x is after eighteen point seven. So we want to know so T one time one. Okay, so how we find the next one is I need to calculate, here's what I need to do. I need to calculate the full time it takes for the uh, time two for B, three meter B to get to the other end. So 150, I can't do it. Uh, 150 divided by three is equal to 50 seconds. So in 50 seconds, um, 50 times Five is equal to 250 so the faster be the five is already gone most of the way so back and forth 300 meters so what we get here is um, 250 meters so he's already flown once 150 and then 250 so that's two-thirds of the trip so it's 100 plus 5x and this is going to be equal to 150 minus um, 3x because he's starting again at he already finished one lap and now he's starting again this guy finished one lap and then he completed another hundred and now he's going against he's got that added to his 5x so we add uh, oops 3x subtract 100 and we're left with um, 8x is equal to 50 and then 50 divided by 8 is equal to 6.25. But you got to be careful here. This is 50 plus 6.25 because they already traveled um, about 3 meter beer. It took them 50 seconds to get to one end. So time 2 is equal to 56.25 meters or seconds. Okay, so there's time 2. there's time one. And that's it.